when I talk to people about ayahuasca and things, it's hard not to mention sapito or bufo alvarius, um, also sometimes called toad medicine, I think. Uh, and um, it's very hard to explain what it is. You can't read well. You can't explain the experience. There's no way. You know, just the same as you can't. You can't possibly convey to somebody what it's like to taste a strawberry if they've never tasted a strawberry. Uh, you can show them pictures. You can show them scientific data. You can describe it with a thousand words. They will not know what it's like to eat a strawberry unless they've eaten a strawberry. Right. But uh, I've updated my um, explanation a little bit. I've summarized it. And it doesn't help you understand how the experience feels. But it might, but it might be a better way of saying it. I think what it does is it restores love. It restores self-love, which is the key to all love. And the way I see things at the moment, and I am, you know, potentially going to change my mind at some point, is that the essence of our being is love, light, and consciousness. And I don't really see the difference between the three at the moment. I, I think light is consciousness, love is consciousness. Uh, I, I don't see any, any real difference. I think if you're fully conscious, which you can't really be in this body, I think, then you uh, you are you're going to experience uh, a feeling of unconditional love, and you're going to feel like your body is light, actual light, um, and um, and you start vibrating at a very high frequency. You just literally feel it in every cell of your body, and um, so yeah. So I think when we when we get closer to that core essence that we are as beings, which is love and consciousness in a body, then we start to feel good. And um, toad, before various, sapito, it makes you feel again in all your body. It makes you feel love in all the cells of your body. And and it restores levels of self-love. That's what it does. And once your your self-love is restored, you can then start to love others. People feel it, and I can tell you that you know it's been a long journey for me, and I think it's this is just the beginning. I started in May 2014, so it's it's going to be you know three years in a year in a month or so, um, and. Um, it's been done in phases, but I feel now that I'm, you know, that I've gone through this long straight line and then the curve just goes exponential and I'm here just at the beginning of this curve where things start to speed up. That's how I feel at the moment. I'm a lot fitter than I was. I don't know what I look like in the videos from three years ago, um, but I, I've been working out for three months and, well, I didn't look like this, you know, I'm not saying this is anything impressive or anything, but I've lost 20 kilos of fat and I've put on some muscle. Uh, and that's helping me massively, a day by day, and I actually see the differences every two to three days, I see a little bit more muscle, a little bit less fat, uh, and I hope that in three months from now I actually won't have any uh, belly blubber to show whatsoever. Um, and I'm generally feeling better every day. I'm not saying I'm sorted, all right? I know I've got a lot of things to sort out. But uh, I'm, I'm definitely feeling a bit better and a bit stronger every day. And it's never been that quick. You know, I've stayed for months in the same sort of phase and maybe gone down a bit. And you know, it's been a bit of a roller coaster. But at the moment, I feel that I'm getting stronger and better inside. And I think it's got a lot to do with the physical changes. Um, but it's, it's most, yeah, it's like, I'm feeling a lot more self-love and I see that people around me are feeling it as well. I'm opening up to people, talking more to them, but like just today, a friend of mine, all I did was listen to her. She, she, she talks a lot. Uh, and 
that's fine. That's just the way she is. Uh, and she's a lovely person. Um, she, I think she's got, she's a bit anxious maybe. She's probably struggled with depression in the past. And she told me these amazing things today. Um, that, you know, that she's been feeling good vibes and things and from me and uh, that it, it, you know, and not long ago I was talking to another friend and she told me that the things I was telling her were calming her soul, you yeah. um, know. People didn't tell me stuff like that before, okay. So definitely there's something in me that's happening and that people are sensing around me. So there's a change, okay. Um, and I'm, I'm getting a lot more positive reactions from people in general. Um, and, um, and I think this is really just the beginning. I wouldn't be surprised if in a few months I didn't recognize myself looking at this video because things are just starting to get so quick and accelerate so much. And I think this is largely due to my experience with Bufal Various which amongst other things helped me realize that judgment was just in my mind and, and, and now I actually feel like a bit, bit of a stranger to judgment. Uh, I, I don't judge people who, who judge because that wouldn't make sense uh, anyway, but it's just I feel like foreign to the, the idea of it. Of course I judge sometimes, you know, but it's like I feel more and more foreign to that. And I think that's a great thing. Uh, I think that's really a great thing. And it is because my self inner love, you know, is just getting more and more full and there's less and less room for other shit, you know. When you when you love, you don't judge because there's no room for that. Um, and, um, yeah, uh, I think uh, Sapito helped me. Well, it, stopped, it got me off alcohol from one day to the next without effort. That was in December 2015, I think. Yeah, 2015, so it's about, well, not quite a year and a half. And I haven't touched a drop of it, and I don't miss it. And I, you know, I'd be very disappointed with myself if I did drink alcohol again, for whatever reason. Um, and that, I think it's the same sort of decision that helped me decide to go and exercise five times a week. Um and speed things up and I'm really glad that I took that decision because I'm feeling better all the time just because I've, I've managed to go from being a little fatty to someone who's in the process of, of, of you know looking a whole lot better I mean a whole lot fitter you know my my weight's gone down from 83 kilos to 60 I think, or something like that. 65 and a half, last time I weighed myself. And I've got more muscle. So I've lost easily 20 kilos of fat. Um, yeah. Anyway, I think, I think Sapito, and I think to some extent, in a different way, maybe in, I can't say it's deeper or, or, or anything, but Ayahuasca also does it. Certainly, Sabita, what it does is it instantly restores some level of of uh, self love. It rem and and what it does is it reminds you of who you are. That's all it's really doing. It reminds you of who you really are, and at the core, whether you're a serial killer or Hitler or or me or anyone else, at the core of your being is this infinite love, infinite consciousness, infinite light. And that's, that's who you are. And it reminds you of that by making you feel, because that's how you learn. You don't learn with your mind. There's a total disconnect between your mind and the heart. Yeah. Uh, pretty much. I mean, any matters of love, the mind knows fuck all. Uh, love happens in the gut and in, in here, okay? And when you start to feel it, what happens is it spreads 
in your chest and your belly. It spreads like a warm light. And then from there on, it goes through your veins and you quite literally feel it spreading from your head to your toes and you feel that warm, fuzzy feeling and you can trigger that. You can trigger that and you can you can learn how to do it and you can learn how to feel like that. And I think potentially we can learn how to feel like that in pretty much any circumstance. Of course, it might take some practice and uh, yeah, but it's possible. I've managed to feel like that in circumstances that would normally have frustrated me and made me very, very angry. And I can honestly say that I pretty much never felt as good as at that moment because I decided I wanted to feel good. That was right after Toad, and it really definitely helps to be, you know, once you've you've done it in the next few days or the week, a week after. If you meditate, you're going to get great results. If you listen to sublim subliminal messages and MP3s before you fall asleep, you're going to get fantastic results. Uh, it definitely helps. It's definitely easier just after you've done some DMT. But there are other ways also, I think, to get DMT flowing. Uh, in fact, I wouldn't be surprised if when we're in love, we've got DMT flowing through our veins, quite literally. I really, I'm not entirely sure that there's a difference between love and DMT. Um, so, yeah. Toad reminds you of who you are. It reminds you that you, you're the core of your being, the essence of your being, the whole root cause of your existence here in this body, in this so-called physical exper experience that is really just vibrating energy is that you are love.